Hello everybody, this is Angelo Gaming HD once again and in this video I'm going to discuss overlays because, you know, GRT as I showed you in all my previous videos has even more features than that and one for some people really important might be overlays and it has nothing to do with the stream purposes this is purely for you so basically for me i don't need it i don't use it i won't use it but i have three screens for my eye racing and one extra for those goodies like displaying standings on all that but even though if i don't have the fourth screen i still have my tablet i have my iphone or my uh, second phone so i don't really need fourth extra display or screen connected to my pc but basically any of those pages and tabs we already worked with you can display over iRacing in real time so even though if you're running single screen setup you can see those things on your only screen or if like me you're running on triples you can actually run it on triples as well for example some info on side monitors because you use side monitors just basically to look if there is still the guy you're fighting with or you know those things so basically you can put it on your side monitors like with no problem let's say uh, how to do it well you don't it takes a little bit more CPU usage and I would say even a lot more because it might be even 10% increase which might be you know bad for your iRacing experience but the option is here I just want to show you how to work with this option so basically you need to start up JRT as you're used to you just run the shortcut and two things are gonna show up one is gonna be console, you don't work with it, it's gonna be minimalized automatically and GRT config will pop up as well. This is the thing we will be working with. And first what you need to do actually is to enable certain pages to work with the overlay. So I'm just gonna switch us into uh, GRT config so you can see what I'm doing actually. So as we can see we're on the GRT config and this is gonna be just for showcasing, but let's imagine that we wanna display on my left uh, screen three different things. You can put it anywhere you wish. I'm just gonna put it uh, on my left screen so it's easier to show you how to work with it, with the dimensions, with the location, where it's going to be located. So basically, let's put their timing for. So I'm gonna select timing for tap like I just did and right here in the right button corner you have overlay window options and this is what we will be working with. You have to tick add this page to the overlays. Always on top, that's also a good thing to do. Full screen bottom, don't, it's not really necessary. Border only for Chrome map. Not really sure how Chrome plays role in this but let's make it the way it is we will see what it's going to do so then let's say we want track map we want their track map too so again we are going to take that we want this page to the overlays and we want it on top and then we're gonna use compter or I don't know actually how to pronounce this so sorry for my pronunciation if I'm mispronouncing it and we're gonna again add this page to the overlays and always on top with the borders uh, for Chrome. Don't really know what it does, maybe nothing, we will see. So since we've done all this, what we want over the iRacing, and we ticked at this, uh, at this page to the overlays, we're pretty much good to go to start with uh, overlays. So I'm gonna switch us to the right screen, which will be iRacing at this moment. But you will be also able, to, oh, maybe through the webcam you won't be. So just let me do this. It's going to be quick. So I disappeared, but just push the start button. And right, I have Windows 10, but it works the same way on all other Windows except XP and I don't know the older ones, but they're not supported anymore. So 
whatever and right there overlay and in your PC you have a program in the same folder I JRT JRT overlays just run it and you already see that something has been displayed over my iRacing one important thing to note uh, to mention I haven't found a way how to run this in full screen mode so if you're able to sacrifice full screen eye racing so you're able to display this you're good to go if you are not willing to uh, you know play it on window mode you're screwed maybe it works with some borderless mode that I don't know if there is for eye racing maybe you have some program that is going to run it in borderless mode over all three screens all over the single screen I don't know that is something you will have to find out on your own but basically now you can see that we have this tab right over here and I'm going to do one thing uh, so you can see the real time when I'm editing in JRT config and uh, so when I'm editing right here I'm gonna add the JRT to this part of the screen so you can see what I'm doing and how it's affected so basically now we want to put in our left top corner screen with the timings so as we decided to choose timing 4 we're gonna click on timing 4 but you're gonna realize like oh okay that that's cool but first off I want it transparent so as it was in the previous cases transparent for CLLR browser just hit it and then you can see that we have something beneath it and these are two other things we selected which was a track map and that counter thing I don't know what it is so yeah basically this is how you work with the transparency the same thing transparency 0.2 is gonna be a little bit less transparent it's pretty much up to you you can work with it this is just editing part two okay nothing we are going to discuss over here but let's say you want it to be located on the left bottom corner okay so this is where again we are going to get into overlay window option where you have X position and Y position plus width and height. These are the default numbers, but you can actually click manually or you can just write there random number. So we, we are going to adjust Y position, let's say by 500 and we will see what it does. not much oh there we are it took a little time but there we go so it's too much because I can't see everything so let's make it 400 as I see since it's overlay uh, overlays it takes a little bit more time and there we are so this is how you adjust position let's try to use X position it's gonna Hop up somewhere into the middle of the screen, I believe. Yeah, over there. So let's keep it on zero and this on 400, so it's in the left bottom corner. Well, you might, for example, come to the problem that you want it a little bit wider than it is actually in this case. So this is how you so uh, this is how you work with width or height. Now let's put there thousand let's say what it's what it does and you see that it has been a little bit stretched to the uh, right so let's make it 2000 which is the double value and you can't even see it I will show you that it's this wide it even uh, reaches my middle monitor or center monitor so we're gonna put it to the thousand or 900 let's say 
and it's gonna look like that again you can use any page or tab whatever you call them for these purposes any it doesn't matter if it's a track map timing dashboard whatever so let's say that you want to stretch it in so you just click on it with your left mouse and you can see that becomes that arrow and you can just drag it so those width and height you can adjust just like that there is one huge cone if you're gonna do it by dragging like this and stretching not in the config but over here once you're gonna run it again it's gonna be as it said in JRT config and by this dragging it doesn't change the values you can still see even though i stretched it over the half it's still 900 and it's still 400 uh 400 yes so i really advise you to use the jrt config because it's gonna be the same when you run jrt config with the overlay app it's gonna be always the same as it is in config app or software so let's apply it once again okay i'm gonna put it totally away from our screen so we have space for the other two it works totally same way if you want it transparent let's work with that circle which is this uh in gr did cal calculate no it's not calculator it's computer okay so I'm gonna showcase you something with refresh rate. I will probably have to try for that purpose, uh, which I don't want to. I will do it with a track map. It's gonna be easier, maybe, but the session is over in three minutes, so it's not gonna be easier, whatever. So basically you can drag it again. You can, you know, determine the position on the screen just with the left mouse by clicking on it. But again, it's not going to be safe. The position will not be safe unless you're gonna adjust it in the JRT over here, okay? So you can make it smaller, but here it's gonna be, you have to imagine the circle. So you can drag it like this, which you can't see, the uh, box. I did something wrong with it and then okay now there we are no yeah over here so you have to find that invisible frame if you would be or interested in dragging it like that okay doesn't matter so again you will have to use this to determine the right positioning of the thing every single time you can have run overlays so and this circle what it does just quick explanation it shows you the throttle and brake input uh rpms and, and speed in kilometers or uh, miles per hour based on your settings and it's pretty much it so i'm gonna put it again away from uh our left screen and i'm putting it on the right screen you can just move it back and forth it doesn't really matter whatever wherever you put it there it's going to be and the track map, I think this is quite handy thing that you might be interested in uh, in using it. Again, we're gonna find the track map too, which because we allow this page for uh, overlay. And uh, I'm gonna show you quickly. For example, now I have set refresh rate of 10 FPS. So let's try to set it to one and pay attention to this guy, this P1, okay? Look at that. Do you see how it's laggy? How, how, how there is that delay of nine frames we lost compared to the previous value? Quite a lot. I can tell you at the moment that Electron, which is that overlay app that is uh, on the background, consumes now around total, as it is right now, 10% of my CPU. I'm gonna increase this value to 60. And I'm gonna tell you how much it has risen from my uh, top screen over there. The JRT config now takes 
13.3%. It's not the, uh, it's 13% just GRT config. But look at how smooth it is. Do you see that? It's a little bit laggy, but it's for some reason. Yeah, he went into the pits. So right now there is probably no one driving since the uh, session is over. But bear in mind that increasing FPS count here, which is like value that it's gonna make it smoother, is gonna highly increase your CPU usage. So don't be surprised that these overlays might like hit the experience you have while uh, playing iRacing. FPS drop, for example, or some other issues. I basically have it uh, in about 10, between 10 and 15, it's I think quite ideal value, so it doesn't get no, um, boring, or I wouldn't say boring, like, uh, I think with this wallet it's quite usable, so you can see where everybody is, without you know focusing for a longer time because when you're driving you don't want to be focusing the track map you just need it for for example why would i probably come up where how big is gap between p3 and p4 and all those infos this is pretty much your thing what you're gonna do with those informations i just tell you it's available within the jrt software so this is pretty much it i was just trying to explain what is it good for how do you launch it how do you edit it which is big part of uh, like part two but i was trying to sh uh, tell you that unless you adjust position in this or even width and height it's not if you're gonna adjust it it's gonna be fine if you're going to do it by mouse directly from from here like this it's not going to be saved it's gonna be just for that moment you're running it and it's pretty much it transparency editing it's all discussed already uh, think how to save uh, position permanently I told you and that it's not usable while full screen I told you as well so I think this is it if you have any questions uh, something I didn't mention or you think that it wasn't clear enough for you just hit me with some messages I might even for example do other video to explain that certain topic as well Thank you, for your, uh, thank you for your patience, guys, and I will see you with the next video, which I'm going to showcase for you. It's going to be about this. It's called Launcher. I'm going to explain to you what is this for, and it's quite handy in case you're using tablet for displaying GRT pages like me. So, you know, stay tuned and take care. Bye, guys.